Hi, I'm J.W. Roan, the Art Guy, and today on Art Matters, we're going to look at a day in the life of artworks. So come on, let's go inside and check out this 12,000 square foot community art center. I'm standing in our 1,000 square foot rotating gallery. No, it doesn't spin around. It means that every two months there's a different art show hanging in this gallery. Right now it's all stained glass work from a wonderful artist from West Virginia. It'll be Dorothy Montgomery and her story quilts from Charleston to go along with the show going on in our theater. Come on, let's check out the artist. So as you walk down Main Street here in Artworks, there are artist studios. And right now, Carol Cam's working in her studio. Carol, you've been around as one of our resident artists probably longer than anybody else in the, in, in the building. What's your favorite thing about Artworks? Never boring. Never boring. Never That's fine. the way it is around here. So get a quick picture there. This is Carol's latest finished work. Artworks also serves as an incubator for these artists and gives them an opportunity to work on their art in a safe and secure place. This is one of our new artist studios right now. As well as having artist studios where these artists actually create, we also have a couple of independent businesses in the building. Here we are in Strings and Things right now, and this is a great music shop. People come in all the time to buy strings and things. This is the proprietor, Jim. Hey, hey Jim. Getting ready for the concert Saturday night? They're also the sound company for all of the concerts in Port Royal. I know you rent musical instruments. Tell me about it. We rent uh, band instruments and string instruments for orchestra and marching band, concert band, and uh, we're the only ones in Beaufort that do it. Right now, last but not least, is the Melodic Latte Cafe. This is a great cafe and a great place for folks to just come and hang out and chat. Come on in and have a cup. Wild crew that hangs out and helps us do everything that happens around here. It's Jeremy Hayden, <laughs> Chief Andre. <Adray. laughs> we couldn't exist without folks like this that work inside of the building and help make everything happen. We're building the new set for Quilting the Sun right now, but this afternoon we'll be having a youth theater class in here. Another big part of Artworks is the Arts Council office. And right here in the Arts Council office is the heart and soul of all of the activities. This is Jenny Roan, our development director, always hard at work, writing another grant, trying to find the funds to be able to do all of the things that we do around here. Right now we have a great series going on called Friday Nights Live. Every Friday night for six weeks we've got a different act. This week we've got the Groove Tones and everybody is so excited. On Saturday night we'll have the free concert in Port Royal with the Woody Pines. Some real gypsy jazz. So join us in Port Royal Saturday night at 6 o'clock. Well, it's Wednesday at Artworks. It's one of our after-school days. Here comes the theater class back to meet their parents in the uh, gallery. Hey. Oh, it is the theater group. Yeah, look at them. See? The theater kids, yes. It's okay if you touch them here, but once they're in a piece of art, you don't want to touch them. But see, like this one, it's red paper, but I decided to do different colors on it. And this one is purple. Right, because sometimes, like this one, looks mostly red, but I painted it up. Right. Okay, there are some parents waiting out behind. Oh, Thank you, Mr. Artworks. Anytime. Bye. Let's go see if some of your parents are outside. Artworks is a great place to be, whether you're just browsing, looking to buy art, or waiting to enjoy one of the fabulous performances in our theater. I'm J.W. Rowan, the Art Guy, and for Art Matters, that's our story today. <laughs>